Hello everyone and welcome to third video of the PyTorch 101 series. In today's video, we are going to discuss the dataset class in PyTorch. So when you're building a PyTorch model, it's very important to have something that gives you the samples in your dataset, right? You need samples from your dataset to train something on. And that's why you need the dataset class. So you must have seen um, a lot of times what people do is uh, they create a class called custom dataset and they inherit from torch.utils.data.dataset if I'm not wrong. So you can do that, but it's not required. So what we are going to do is we're going to skip that. So we will write our own custom dataset class and you don't need to inherit from Torch data datasets. So what should this class consist of? Well, first of all, it will consist of an init function and take some arguments here and do something. The second part is underscore underscore len self. That's the second part. And this should return length of data set so if you have 1000 samples in your training data it should run 1000 return len of let's say self dot data and here i will say okay i have data and here i take targets um okay so self dot data is my data self dot targets equal to targets and you have the length function which returns the length of the data and then you have underscore underscore get item underscore underscore function and that takes an index that is of one value and this value will always be between zero and the uh, um, n minus one so where n is the length of the data set so if you have um, data set with 1000 samples the value will be from 0 to 999 so let's call it idx or item idx and what it returns is uh, it returns a dictionary so return some kind of dictionary now this dictionary is the dictionary of tensors um and uh here we have let's say uh current sample let's say we have current sample and my current sample is self dot data if data isn't let's say it's a numpy array uh 2d numpy array we are dealing with tabular data set at the moment uh self dot data then idx all rows and current target is targets let's say this is also one d array or a list of values self dot target and idx now when you return you can return uh, any key that you want so i would say um, i'm returning samples and targets uh or just sample because it's one sample so i can do torch dot tensor current sample and i can also specify the d type here so torch dot float let's say if they are float values and here you can specify again torch dot long or this also depends on so okay let, let me finish this so target and here it's current target and you can specify the d type for target and it can be inch it can be float and it also depends on the loss function that you're using so uh let's say it's torch dot uh, long for now Okay, so now you have created a custom dataset class. Now we need some data to use this with. So we are going to use scikit-learn's make classification. So let's try that. 
So, okay, let me just add over here. So from sklearn.datasets import make classification. Okay, so we have make classification. And what does it return? Okay, so make classification and samples. Let's do 1000 and, and features 20 is fine. Number of classes is fine. So it gives me data and targets. So let's see what do I have in my data. Um, what is the shape? 1000 cross 20, that's fine. And targets.shape is 1000. And targets will be binary. Right. Uh, okay. So now to use custom data set, I'm just going to init it. So let's say data set or let's call it custom data set equal to custom data set where data is my numpy array, which is data and target is targets. So I do custom data set and it won't return me anything because I don't have anything there. But if I do length of custom data set, then it returns 1000. That's all the samples I have. Since I have um, self.data as numpy array, I can also do self.data.shape zero. Okay, and it returns 1000. And if I do custom data set zero, so it gives me the zeroth element in the data set. Uh, torch is not defined, so let me import torch and this is my uh, zeroth element of the data set. So I have the target which is tensor zero and I have the sample which is uh, this tensor. So if I do sample dot shape it gives me it's of shape 20 that is 20 features that i have and here also you can do for target so target so you can return anything you want here uh, as long as it's useful for your uh, model that comes in the future uh, but that's the basic fundamental of uh, how you can uh, create your own custom data set class so now if i have a if i have my data in pandas data frame let's say uh, what i can do is i can grab all the target columns and those will be my targets and um, everything else uh, after all the feature engineering i can have my data in a numpy array but don't try to index um data frame here because it's going to be super slow so convert to an mp array and then you index it it's going to be quite fast if i have multiple targets what i do simple like this or i can also just keep it like that so i got the samples i got the target i can also call it x and y a lot of people want to call it x and y and just run it again so now you have x or uh, let's just see the sample zero and y, x and y. And um, here you can input any value, 345, but that value must be between zero and 999, inclusive of both. And here y is one. Um, uh, so how, why is this important? So now if I, if I want to loop over this data set, so I can just say for data in custom data set, no, for data in range len of custom data set, uh, I can just do print data um, let me call it index idx uh, data custom data set 
and then you have the index idx and uh, just print that okay and let, let me just put a break uh, so you're here you have a loop and it's looping over all the samples in your data set and to it's very um, now it's very easy for you to uh, supply this data to your custom neural network model for it to train and you can also like collate them in batches but that's something we will learn later so this is the video about data set class um, specifically for tabular data so uh, general intro and for how you can do how you can create your own data set class for tabular data and the next thing that we are going to learn in the next video is a custom data set class for all kinds of text data so let's see